What's poppin' Cal Aesthetics fam? We are here at the park and I wanted to give you something very, very unique yet important for all beginners and that is the top five exercises you should be doing if you wanna start at beginner and then move forward and never plateau. Now obviously, if you're just starting out and you haven't trained at all, these are exercises that you wanna do after you've already understood the basics. So that's pull-ups, dips, push-ups, uh, different core work, and just built a foundation under yourself. But once you have that, these are the exercises I want you to understand. So without further ado, let's get this started. The first exercise I want you to be doing if you are a beginner and it's something that we incorporate in the Body Evo program, it is going to be the halfway muscle up. And the reason why I say halfway is because you're not really technically doing a full muscle up yourself, but you are going through the movement that will allow you to work the same muscles you would in a full muscle up. This is a full upper body, okay? So you're really gonna have to tighten your core, which you should be doing at all times. And remember, tuck in that chin, neutral spine, big chest at all times, and focus on the technique at hand before you try and do too many repetitions. So we're starting off here. What you're gonna do is find a dip bar, find two chairs. You could probably do it on two chairs. It'll be a little bit more difficult, but you can. And what we're gonna do is make sure our thumb is wrapped under the bar here. We don't want it outside like this. Remember, your thumb is your strongest digit on your hand. Use it all the time. So we're gonna grab as so with our forearms just on this curved portion of the dip bar. And as you can see, if we're right here, we can kind of almost go into a tricep extension from this position, okay? So get in this position right here, and then we're gonna bring our feet down and slide a little bit until you're just at that curved portion with your hand. Make sure also that your finger are not pointing down the dip bar, they're off to the side. So we're gonna be here, okay? And all you're gonna be doing is pull as much as you can on your own while your, your, um, your feet are on the ground, keeping that chin tucked and tightening, 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 and then try to dip yourself, okay? You're gonna come right back down here. Keep everything tight, pull, 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 and give yourself a little jump up if need be. Okay, we're gonna do one more so you can really, really see what we're doing here. Okay, so we're pulling, we're pushing with our legs a little bit at the same time. So pulling, pulling, pulling with our backs, keeping our chins tucked, and then going into a dip and transferring into that movement all the way up. This is going to work everywhere from your triceps, your transverse abdominis, your rectus abdominis, your obliques. It's also gonna be working your anterior delts, your biceps, everything of your upper body because it is a full movement just as so. Now, next movement, number two. We're gonna be working on something that you might look at and say, oh, well, this is pretty hard to do myself, but it's actually not at all. Now, the reason why I'm going to this movement, and this is gonna be lower body for this one, um, we're gonna take a bench right here. So find a bench or something that's kind of low, but not too low. You can, the higher up it is, the easier it will be. But the reason why I go to this exercise is because you can really target your glutes and your quads in an effective and efficient manner, which means you don't have to worry too much about technique, but at the same time, you can grab on either side to help support you. So this is how we're gonna be doing it, okay? So when we're looking at our feet, okay, this is what most people will do. They'll look at their feet and say, okay, this is where I'm at. All right, I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna come back up and I'm going to be, keep on looking at my feet. What this is gonna do is round your lower back and round up at your cervical spine. And that's obviously not what you want. You don't want that to be at any point of injury prone. So tuck in that chin big chest, neutral spine, squeeze in those hips as we always talk about through any movement. Remember, squeeze in those hips, okay? Now, this is where it's gonna get a little tricky. So as you go down, what you need to focus on the whole time is making sure that your foot is not being rotated inward, okay? So I say that, it's, it's a different word scientifically, but here, so you understand what I mean, it's basically when your knee's coming in and your foot's going to your medial side, which is your inside foot, okay? So you don't want it to rotate in at all. We're gonna be doing a single leg squat on to this chair, but make sure you're doing it correctly, okay? So you're gonna keep it open, okay? Keeping this straight, you can even bend it a little bit. And as you're coming down, use your hands to stabilize yourself, but also make sure that we're coming down on our midfoot. Now, if you watch very, very closely on my foot, I'm not coming down, I'm not coming down like, this, 
This is going to put a lot of pressure on your knee. That's not what you want. You want to be flat footed here and pushing your knee outward. This is called external rotation of your hip. Okay, so coming down, stabilizing, stabilizing, stabilizing. Use that bench here at the bottom and then push yourself up with as much as you can on your own. Try not to use the bench as much. Okay, so that's number two. That's the second exercise. Just make sure you're keeping your chest up and as you're coming down, you're focusing, focusing, focusing on keeping that knee out and then pushing straight up and just stabilizing the whole time. So number three, the exercise that I absolutely love to do with a lot of beginners is going into a practice planche push-up, which we use a lot, again, in the Body Evo program. And we go about shoulder width apart, okay? You're just going into a regular push-up position. It's gonna be hard for you at first, okay? But again, this is only if you've been working your push-ups for a little bit of a while now, and you're plateauing, and you're trying to go to an intermediate level or advanced level, and it just takes time. It does. This is a beginner to intermediate level push-up. Okay, so we're gonna be going into a push-up position. Remember, tucking in those hips, don't let your back round at all. Make sure that our heads are not all the way down here. Make sure our heads are not looking straight up. Everything is completely straight. Retract and depress those scaps so you're completely straight from head to toe. I always talk about neutral spine. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna just move forward and hold that position for three seconds and then come right back with your feet, okay? So all we're doing is we're pushing ourselves just a couple steps forward, really extending at those elbows and coming right back. What this is gonna be working is your upper pec and also your anterior delts a lot, all right? And if it, your wrists are hurting at all, remember, you gotta warm up before any of these movements. Just go ahead and rotate them outward just a little bit. This will help you a lot and really push away from the ground. So you wanna push, 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 push as much as you can one more time. Come all the way, a couple steps. Tighten up, tighten up, tighten up. Hollow body, which means you wanna be away from yourself as much as possible. Think, think of taking your whole chest and pushing it to, towards the sky. You're not gonna be like this, right? You're going to be pushing away, away, away as far as possible, okay? So that is your third exercise. Your fourth exercise, we're gonna come over here. Come over here to the pull-up area. Now, I was going to give you a different exercise than this, but I think this is extremely important when it comes to building overall strength. Your forearms are pretty much everything. They really are. So you have to focus on specific movements up here if you want to see incredible results throughout any other movement that you're doing upper body-wise, okay? So your forearms, as I said, are so important to the whole movement. This is where it starts. If you can't grip something, how do you think you could do a lot more pull-ups? How do you think you can get a lot stronger with your handstands if you're trying to grip the ground? You can't. So what you're gonna do is try and grab a bar that is pretty thick. Any, any bar that you could think of, okay? And once you grab this bar, I want you to really think about squeezing, not only with that thumb under the bar, but also squeezing with that pinky at the same time. So when you're squeezing, you squeeze as hard as you can here. As you can see, squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. This will help you through the whole movement to really stabilize not only with your, um, your supinators, not only with your pronators, but your extenders and your flexors, okay? So, this is what we're gonna do. Shoulder width apart, we're gonna be hanging, just so to make sure that you can hang. Whether you need to bring your knees up or not, that's up to you. But what you're gonna do is fully extend here, keeping that chin tucked, and you are just going to rotate back and forth. Back and forth. Try and push yourself and pull yourself. So push, pull, push, pull. And if you do this for an extended period of time, for a couple of sets, remember, stabilizing in your core the whole time, I am telling you, without a doubt, you will see absolutely incredible results in your grip strength and you will feel it like crazy on your form. So one more time, we're gonna grip, outside of shoulder width apart, fully extend at those elbows as much as possible, keep that chin tucked straight back, squeeze in that core, remember, tuck in those hips as all, at all times, and here we are, pull, push, pull, push. If it's too hard, you can't grip the bar because it's so big, go ahead and go to a regular pull-up bar, okay? So, the final exercise, move over here. This is very, very challenging. I love this movement just because it requires overall core strength. And the reason why we only did go over one uh, lower body movement 
is just because, you know, a lot of people have issues with their lower body when trying to do any of these, uh, a lot of more interesting movements or unique movements and they get out of whack. Just focus on your squats and focus on that movement and you will see a lot better results. And I'll even give you a bonus movement after all of this, just so you could take something else away with you, not just one movement, okay? So we're gonna find a nice piece on this grass where I won't get my back all busted up because of these like, I don't know what there's, there's like thorns down here. Okay, so we're gonna go on our backs, okay? We're just clearly on our backs. And all we're gonna do is make sure that our chin is tucked here. Our knees, they could be as far out as possible. Okay, remember, you're more of a beginner, so if they're tucked in a lot, that's completely fine. What we're working on here is overall core strength, which means we're gonna not only work on, and sorry, stabilization. Now, we're not only gonna be focusing on our rectus abdominis, we're also gonna be focused on our external obliques, our transverse abdominis, and then also our rectus spinae and quadratus lumbar. And this are your back muscles. Your rectus spinae and your QL are your more of your back muscles, and your rectus abdominis and your transverse and external obliques are all front, remember that, okay? So, what we're gonna do is tuck in, making sure that our lower back is always touching the ground. How do you do that? Rather than extending so much in your lower back, we're gonna push it into the ground as hard as possible and stabilize at that core, okay? From this position, we're gonna tuck in our chin and we're gonna move all the way around as so, okay? I'm gonna hold the mic just so it's, this is not making a bunch of noises, but keep in tucked, squeezing at every point, move all the way around. And once you get stronger, I want you to put your hands over your head and move around without trying to move too much of your torso. Then once you get strong enough, I want you to bring your legs out just a little bit more and then move around as so. And I guarantee you, if you do it correctly, you will see how much it, it just requires a lot of stabilization. It requires a lot of strength, okay? So now that we have finished that exercise, I'm gonna give you one more bonus exercise. And this is going to require, again, a lot of stabilization, which is very important as a beginner. Remember, technique is everything. If you can't stabilize in your core, then you can't really stabilize in any other movement and you're gonna do it wrong, then you will find an injury, okay? So here, what we're gonna be doing, just go on a single leg, very, very simple. If you've ever seen an RDL, Romanian deadlift, okay? You usually have a, a barbell here and you're scraping your legs all the way down, keeping that back completely straight and feeling it in your hamstrings and coming right back up by squeezing your glutes in and extending, keeping everything straight, right? So here what we're gonna be focusing on is one leg and we're gonna be coming down. Remember, just like over there on that chair, we're gonna focus on making sure that our foot is completely straight. We're not gonna externally rotate too much or internally rotate. Keep it on our midfoot. Do not cave in with your knee. Keep it out the whole time. And we're gonna be going down all the way to the left. It's called a multi-plane RDL. Okay, and you're gonna come right back up. And you will feel how much you have to stabilize with your foot and with your core. The more you tighten your core, the more you stabilize around your calf area, the more it will burn, and you'll see incredible results. Okay, so you're gonna go left here, making sure everything is tight. Do not round at your back here. It's all gonna be straight. So here, reaching, 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 okay? So you're gonna be here, reaching, reaching, reaching. Coming back, don't put this foot on the ground at all. Try and stabilize as much as possible, and then come in, keeping that back straight the whole time, forcing that, that knee outward the whole time as well. So left, and you can see it like I'm struggling right now because it burns like crazy, coming down towards the middle, and then again, coming to the right. So this will be your bonus exercise for the five best bodyweight movements you could be doing as a beginner to level up and stop your plateau. So. If you did enjoy all of this content, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I love providing all of my knowledge and experience that I have learned and gathered over the years for you. And if you wanna combine all of these different things into a program or something that can guide you every step of the way, we do have our Body Evo program. Absolutely no problem if you can't get it, but if you can, I do suggest investing in yourself. It is very important. I did it when I was 14 years old, and I think it's incredible for everyone else. But that does not take away from the fact that I'm gonna keep on providing incredible free content 
up to whatever you want. So make sure you comment down below. Also Snapchat me. I've gotten a lot of these ideas from people who have been snapping me every single day and I do message back all the time. All day I'm messaging here and there and I'm showing you my life and all of that. Also subscribe to my second video channel. It's all about more lifestyle things and, and everything I'm doing outside of fitness. So definitely go check that out in the description. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Again, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time.